So Nottingham Forest on Saturday, and joining me today is Nathaniel Mendes Lang. Thanks for coming in. No problem. Before we start talking football, Christmas is around the corner. And we saw on your Instagram that you got your Christmas shopping well underway, didn't you? Yesterday, yeah, successful I day. I had to had to get it all done in one day. Got a big family, you know. So yeah, looks like you treated them with some nice gifts. Yeah, they deserve it, man. They deserve it. Nice. I'm a nice guy like that. <laughs> Okay, so just to talk briefly about football, successful start for Neil Harris. How's it been behind the scenes since he's come in? Well, it's been great, you know. Um, it's been a it's been a big lift for all the boys, you know. Um, you know, we're sad to see the gaffer go at the same time, and um, wish him the best in whatever he does next. But um, you know, I think we needed that little change, and you know, the place is bubbling at the moment. Um, four points out of six, so quite happy with that. I think it was probably quite encouraging for a lot of supporters to see that second half come back against Charlton, side of course by a goal from yourself. Do you feel as a team galvanised now under the new manager? I think we, I think we did with the previous gaffer as well at the same time. But I just think you know, like I said, just um, a little, little tweaks here and there, different, different, something different. You know, just give us all a boost, and then um, you know the half-time team talk just gave us all that that little bit more to go out and, and bring something home. And that was your first goal of the season, wasn't it, at Charlton? How are you feeling about yourself and in your own personal performances? Um, it's been a slow start, you know, the injury early on um, kind of slowed me down and uh, it took me a while to get back on track, but I'm starting to feel back to my old self now. And I think um, now that the first goal has come, hopefully there's uh, many more to come. And you've had two starts now under Neil Harris. Has he taken you aside and told you obviously he's putting his trust in you? Yeah, he spoke to me personally, as, as he has with most of the boys, I think. Um, but we've, yeah, we've had our personal conversations and what he wants from me and where I can improve and hopefully he shows on the pitch. So Forrest away on Saturday, he'll put four past QPR on Tuesday evening. So we're still searching for our first away win of the season. How are you looking to approach Saturday's game? The gaffer has different tactics for different teams. Um, we, we worked on a bit in training today. You know, we've got to be solid at the back and, and trust the boys who, who are selected up front to produce some magic. Yeah, solid at the back, but clinical up front. Mm -hmm. Bryce Samber and goals, three consecutive clean sheets for him, which I guess is testament to their defence too. How are you looking to test yourself against, against them? I don't think nothing changes really, you know. Um, you play your own game, confident. And um, I know I know what the boys are capable of doing when, when we run it and going forward. So hopefully we can put that together and get some goals. So they're obviously in a good position up there in fourth position, five points off automatic promotion, as are we five points off the playoffs. So obviously points vital for both teams. But how important are three points now at this stage, just before Christmas and the, the tough run of games we've got? Um, yeah, I think building up to Christmas, it's always important, you know. And now that we've got a, we've we've got a little run together, hopefully we can keep them going. So, like you said, with the points, um, it's a massive game for both both teams, and um, hopefully we bring back the three points. Fingers crossed. Well, good luck for Saturday. Thank We're going to take some questions from social media, mm -hmm. and I know you've kept your eye on them because I saw a little correspondence between you and Moz. So we'll start with this question coming in from Sean. Who, and I'm interested to know the answer to this, has the nickname The Frying Pan, and why? Well, basically, obviously, we play table tennis every day at the training ground. And um, I'm not going to name names. <laughs> I'm not going to name names. But basically, somebody plays like they're playing with a frying pan. So we got the nickname Frying Pan, and then he was found in the ice bath, and someone was, someone was asking where the frying pan was, and then someone said they found him in the dishwasher. So. <laughs> So your frying pan comes from. Is it you? No, I'm, I'm the number one seed. Are you? Yeah. That's not what Reese Healy seems to think. Yeah, from his a question. Lot, a lot's changed since Reese was here. You've developed. I was, I was up there, but now I'm now I'm number You're one. You're up there. Yeah. Who is it then? I, Come I, on. I don't want to say it because he, he, he got quite upset. Give us a hint. I'll guess. Then you didn't tell me. He's a goalkeeper. Okay. Neil. I'm not saying that oh, he's a goalkeeper. you just confirmed. <laughs> Neil Etheridge, we'll have to get you two to play. See who in fact is he actually the best. Okay, so our next question. Billy Donahoe, who's got the worst fashion sense in the squad, in your opinion? I'd probably say Neil Etheridge. Oh my gosh, you're really gunning for him today. I didn't say Neil was the first one. <laughs> but he's, mm, he's mm, yeah, probably Neil Etheridge. Oh no, probably Murph actually, um, Brian Murphy. Brian Murphy. 
and, and that and that is the um, frying pan. Oh, and he yeah. used the frying pan. <laughs> so Murph, for, oh, yeah, Murph for both of those. <laughs> Right, Fraser Jones next. He's asking, how much time do you spend in the gym and what's your favourite drill in training? In the gym, we're in the gym every Tuesday if we don't have a game. If it's not at the club, then probably once an, another one time on top of that a week. Um, and my favourite drill in training but must be finishing. Finishing drills, they're the favourite. Louis, CCFC, is asking, how does it feel to have scored a brace against Manchester United last season? Um, it was unbelievable. It's um, a, a memory that will forever stick with me. Um, you know, my dad's a United fan and he was at the game. And, you know, it's, it's a dream to play at that stadium and to score two goals was, was unbelievable. And obviously one of them was a penalty. Now, there's enough pressure on the penalty taker in any circumstance, but at Old Trafford, did you feel extra pressure? No, not really. I think because of the situation as well, there was, you know, n nothing to really play for in that game. It was still a good game to get the win, but um, no, I felt, I felt OK. We were practising and training the day before. So you were confident? Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, Jake William, 19, he's asking, what's your motivation song? What song gets you going? Um, Nipsey Hussle's album gets me going. I don't really have a favourite song on there. I just, I just play it before games. Um, that gets me going. Victory lap. Roan Edwards is asking, what do you do when you have free time? Other than go shopping? Um, probably just PlayStation, if I'm not with, with family, friends, um, just chill on the PlayStation. Um, a bit of badminton. Badminton? Um, um, Reese is very good at that, by the way. Oh, he is, yeah, is he? Yeah, he used to teach, actually. Did he? Yeah. Oh, fair play. Are you any good? Yeah, I'm, I'm good, but I, well, yeah, I'm good, but I thought I was very good until I played Reese. Oh, <laughs> put you in your place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Aidan Donovan uh, is asking, what do you eat for breakfast on the morning of a game? Um, same, same thing every, every Saturday. It will be um, poached egg, avocado, it'll be a smoked salmon on toast, don't ask me. And that sets you up for the whole game? No, that's breakfast. Then we have pre match before oh, the game. Too, yeah. <laughs> Uh, last question, um, Cardiff City Football is asking, what is your, well you've spoken about two of them already, but what is your favourite goal that you've scored for Cardiff City so far? I think my favourite goal would probably be, probably Brighton, Brighton away last year. I think that would probably be my favourite because of the situation that it was, what it meant at the time. But probably has to be one of the two at Old Trafford, the one that would more stand out for me. Yeah. That's it. That's it from our social media questions, and that's it from me. So thanks for coming in. You're welcome. Safe travel to all of our supporters heading to Nottingham on Saturday. Thanks for watching. <laughs>